Welcome to Sharky's Gaming Controllers. I'm Sharky, and in this video, we're taking a look at the Cable Guys Spyro Phone and Controller Holder. So first, let's have a look at this packaging. So as you can see straight away, Spyro looks pretty awesome through that display window. He's got a really cool looking expression on his face. On the front of the box, it says Spyro. It also advertised that it comes with a two meter micro USB charging cable. Down the bottom here, it shows Spyro holding what looks to be a PS4 controller. And down here, it also says phone and controller holder holds the device whilst charging. On the side, you've got another image of Spyro, this time holding a mobile phone. And you've also got the Cable Guys logo. On top, it's just got a couple of logos. And on the side, it shows those images of Spyro holding the various devices. So you've got the mobile phone, the controller, and Spyro holding nothing. On the back, it has a close-up of the back of the stand there. It shows the cable again, and also goes a little blurb there about the stand itself. It also has some logos down the bottom. And the bottom just has some more logos. So once you pulled everything out of the packaging, you get Spyro himself, which looks pretty awesome. He's got his arms outstretched, ready to hold your controller. And he's quite a nice height as well. So measuring from the tip of his horns here down, you've got about 8.5 inches or about 22 centimeters. So it's quite a nice height stand. You of course also get this two meter micro USB charging cable, the USB on one end, and micro USB on the other. So taking a look at the stand itself, Spyro looks pretty awesome. Just look at him. He's got an awesome looking expression there. There's definitely a lot of attitude going on. And the detail they've added is quite nice as well. From his scales, to his wings, to the horns, to the cool looking grass base he's standing on. He looks really cool. And of course he's got his arms outstretched ready to hold your controller looks really nice. So taking a closer look, first off, look at that face. He's got such a cool looking expression. Looks like he's got his eyebrow raised here. Bit of attitude going on. And he's got some lovely detail. Uh, he's got some nice detail on the horns here, down to his chest, his arms are outstretched there, his scales, the sparks on his back there, even his wings, they look really nice. And there's a good amount of raised detail as well. And this goes right down to his tail there. And he's sitting on like a grass looking base. It looks like it has grass coming up. Looks really nice. And the bottom, it just says cable guys. So there's a lot of nice looking detail that they've added to the stand. It really looks like Spyro as well. And the attitude and expression is right there it looks like spire it looks like something they took right out of the game so the stand is meant to hold controllers so what do the controllers look like once they're in spyro's arms well first let's have a look at a ps4 controller so when you put a ps4 controller in his arms you've sort of got to get it aligned at first but it sits quite nicely Looks quite cool too, Spyro looking over the top of the PS4 controller. And it is very stable, like you can try and misplace it and it's, it seems to stay in its place. It doesn't fall forward too much or anything. So it's quite a stable mounting. Now when you want to charge the PS4 controller, of course you can plug in the micro USB cable that is included with this kit. The only thing is, once you've plugged the cable in, because it's so far back on the PS4 controller, you can no longer slip it forward, so you've got to actually lean it forward more onto Spyro's hands. The cable will hit his snout here, uh, but it'll still sit quite snugly in his arms.
like that and it's still stable as well it doesn't want to fall out or anything like that but it is definitely leaning forward more moving on to the next controller if we look at the xbox one controller so on its own you have to lean it forward straight away because it's just too big to go under spyro's snout there as you can see the back sort of leans against the snout here still looks kind of cool and this is still fairly stable it will slot forward a bit more but it really doesn't want to fall out because uh, Spyro's hands sort of catch it um, but I'll still be a bit cautious with this so I'd say if you are going to use a stand for an Xbox One controller set it there leave it and try not to bump it because one solid knock could send this controller flying off and out of Spyro's arms Charging this one as well. So again, you can use the included micro USB cable. And again, once you put it in his arms, it'll still lean forward. It'll pretty much be the same way it was before um, because the back of the controller leans against Spyro's snout. And finally, we'll try a Switch controller next. So he has the, the Switch Pro controller. So just on its own, you can slot it into Spyro's hands there. You may need to adjust it to center it a bit more, but it does sit, and once again, the back of the controller leans against Spyro's snout there. But it does seem to sit there quite nicely, and it still looks quite nice. And it is stable, so again, it will lean forward a bit if you try and bump it. Um, but it's not going to, doesn't seem like it wants to fall off. It's still leaning back a little bit. It's still like the Xbox One controller. I'd be cautious with this because it doesn't fit. It could fit better, basically. The PS4 controller definitely fits the best. Now, charging it, of course, this is a USB-C, so you won't be able to use the included micro cable. But if you have your own USB-C cable, you can still use the stand, plug your USB-C in, and then slot it in there. And once again, it'll basically just sit above Aspiro's head there, and the back of the controller will lean against the snout there. And the cable does not change how stable it is. It's still exactly the same stable as it was before the cable. So we've seen Spyro holding the controllers, but in the box it showed a mobile phone. So let's see what other devices that Spyro can hold. So it can definitely hold mobile phones. So he has a phone here. Now there are two ways you can actually put the phone onto his arms. If it's a smaller phone, you can do it this way. And this phone just fits this way. It just slots into his arms and leans against his chest. This is a much more secure way of putting the phone in because then everything is leaning against his chest. Uh, you're not gonna easily knock this forward. It can still be pulled out sideways, but you're not gonna knock it forward and fall off. Now, of course, with bigger phones, this is not important. This is not possible to do it this way so you'd have to actually put in his hands and lean the back of the phone against his snout while this works and he holds it quite nicely and it still looks really nice it is less secure so for instance if you were to bump this the phone might fall forward and of course it'll fall out of his hands and fall down so if you do use a spyro stand for your phone i would be cautious with it because you don't want your phone breaking because it falls off his arms onto the floor but it does look cool so as long as you don't bump it it should be okay and of course you can charge your phone like this as well you can just plug your cable in and charge it while sitting on the stand now Spyro can also hold the switch but again like the phones I wouldn't necessarily recommend this but he does hold it it does cover his face completely so you can't see his face but he does hold it uh, his hands fit quite nicely on it and it leans against his snout. But being the Switch is a much more bigger and more heavier device, 
if you even slightly bump this this will tumble off and fall so while it does it is possible for spyro to hold your switch i wouldn't recommend it so overall this is a pretty cool charging stand it's spyro it's very detailed it looks like he's come right out of the game they've really done a good job at the stand and I mean, even if you didn't want to use it as a charging stand, you could easily use this as a display piece. Spyro looks very cool on his own and would look amazing sitting on a shelf somewhere. As a charging stand though, he does work. I mean, I tried the PS4 controller, the Xbox One controller, and the Switch Pro controller. All three of them work. You can plug them in and charge them. The PS4, of course, is the most ideal because it is the most stable and Spyro seems to hold a lot better but the other two work just as well. They're not as stable, but as long as you don't bump them or rapidly move it, it should sit in his arms fine and shouldn't fall out. So just, I guess, be cautious with them. With phones, smaller phones are the best because then you can lean them against the chest, but you can use bigger phones as well. I would just be cautious. As long as you don't bump it, it should be okay. With Switch consoles, I wouldn't recommend it. It does fit. As you could see, you could easily charge a Switch sitting in the stand but I would just, I wouldn't feel safe. You don't want your switch to fall over and, you know, break. Uh, you just, it's not worth the risk. So I wouldn't recommend this for a switch console, even though it does fit. And of course, this thing comes with a two meter charge cable. So position wise, you could set this up away from your console a bit. You could sit it on the TV stand, a shelf, your desk. Uh, as long as it's within two meters of where you're plugging the cable in, you should be fine. So it gives you a bit of flexibility to where you want to put it. And it looks pretty cool. If you want to sit your controller in while you're charging, it looks really nice to have on display. And like I said, even if you didn't want to use it as a charge stand, Spyro looks pretty cool just on his own. Just look at him. He's a really cool dragon. He's a really cool expression. I really like it. It looks really nice. So even if you don't want this as a charging stand, if you're, say, a fan or a collector of Spyro, then this is definitely something you could easily add to your collection. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then uh, please hit that like button as it helps out a lot. Feel free to subscribe as I'll have heaps more gaming controllers and accessories up very shortly. While you're at it, hit that notification button and share this video with your friends. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.